welcome to the season premiere of The Prowl. I'm your host, Ellery Badcock. And I am Paul Schisler. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, we're here with Will Boswell. Our fave. Hello, hello. Toad's fave. He's going to be just kind of hanging out bro time with me because it gets a little oppressive with all the women here. Right, yeah, all of them. I know you can't feel that vibe, mm -hmm. but as men, I can. Right, understandable. Anyways, well, we have a new endeavor for this season. And uh, I'm pretty sure this guy's watching right now. You guys might have heard of him. He's actually watching. He's he is a he fan. He probably is. Yeah, he's one of our biggest fans. And uh, Conan O'Brien, I'm calling you out right now because uh, we want you. We want you bad. I especially want you because I love your hair. So. And since you're not here right now, we needed to do something to uh, get you, you know, vicariously here at Auburn. So we uh, we, did we brought our special. friend Clonin O'Brien. Uh, that's cloning your clone. So we're going to take you on campus so you can experience Auburn and uh, we can be friends, you and I. So uh, just give us a call at, um, you know, theprowl.com. And uh, you look good in person. You do. You look a little thin and two dimensional, but uh, we'll save that more for later. <laughs> Kind of creepy in person, right? It's a little creepy. Yeah, with the He's hair. He's not as tall as I thought he would be in yeah. person, but that's okay. I can work with that. Very thin. Still a good guy. Yeah. Kind of quiet. And look, look, his eyes sparkle. So. In that creepy sort of he way, right? He looks so happy to be here. I'm just kidding. He's handsome. He's You're a handsome guy. He cloning. is. He is. Yes. Well, did you go to the national championships? I did not, Paul. But I did watch it on TV, and I loved every second of it. Did you go? Confession time. I was there. Uh. Okay. So good to get it off my chest. <laughs> and um, another confession time. While I was at the game, it'd be like third down and like 12 to go, and I found myself watching and uh, giving myself motivational speeches. Mm -hmm. Like inside, I would be giving like like you would see in 300, like brothers, sisters, this is our time. We will win. Wow, Paul. And, uh, that was quite yeah. the confession so for that's why we our won. viewers. Yeah, that's uh -huh. why we won. You're welcome, Auburn. That's great. Well, yes. I'm so glad that we won that football game because that means we're national champions, which is awesome. Not that I was worried about it or anything. Sorry, but. We're pretty much the best. We're pretty much amazing. So yes, we are. Yeah. Well, anyone could have told you that. And actually, we had our very own Brooke Fletcher, and she went to the national championship party that they had in the stadium, and we have some footage from that, so take a look. I am out here on the field. We are waiting for the ceremony to start. The fans are going absolutely crazy. The cheerleaders, the band, everybody is pumped to celebrate this national championship win. Right now, we're waiting on the football players to come out to get this celebration started. What time did you guys have to get here today? Um, well, I kind of rolled up a little late, but these guys were out here really early, like, what, 9.30, I think? So, yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. Well, you guys have the best seat in the house, it looks like. Well, how did you feel about the celebration? It was fun, and there were a lot of people showed up. I thought it was only going to be, like, the lower level field, and then it ended up being, like, everybody. It was packed, just like a game day. I believe in Auburn, and I love it. That was amazing. <laughs> Phenomenal. Totes can't. Whoa, you go. I like that tune. There's a little ring to it. You know? <laughs> well, I am so excited about this time of year because of Oscar season. Oscars. I'm what? so excited. I, my goal has been what? to watch all the movies that have been nominated, and so far, so good. There's a couple I haven't seen yet, but. I've seen none of them. You haven't seen any of them? Yeah. They're so good. Well, I have seen, did you, I was watching TV last night. Mm -hmm. There's this show, you've probably seen it. Probably. Knowing you, you've probably seen it. Knowing the me. The show called Toddlers and Tierras. Yes. It is like the sickest, taboo, disgusting. These psycho moms have their little robot daughters Paul. dress up. And it's just, it's Paul. one of the most disgusting things ever. These horrible, monster moms Paul. just destroying their girls, like Paul. fake teeth and... Um, it's not real life. We have a guest today, and I don't. You're right. It's it's cloning. No, I don't know how to guest. tell you this, JC. No, here? young lady. No. Hey, no. honey. Don't even smile big. No. Okay, hey, I'm remember not what going we to, taught you. Um, smile big. I didn't know about this. I can't be arrested. Smile big. I am. Okay. Okay. She's here today. She is a pageant queen. Young lady, no. You're and not. You're not old enough for this. Is yeah. this Dateline? Am I, is this to catch a predator right now? No, Come on. Paul. What is that about? No, we know you wish it was, but it's not. 
Chris Harrison, I knew nothing about Thank this. Thank you, JC. Dateline. I can't believe you were so rude to our guests. I can't believe you support that. I mean, I don't support it, but you know. I don't support Teen Mom, but I watch it sometimes, oh. so. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> just the thought of j doing that to a child, you know. Uh-huh. It's, it's awful. I'm sorry that you feel so strongly about that. Well, you know, Can whatever. we put it behind us? Can we move Water on? Water under the bridge. They, yeah. Oh. Okay, a little <laughs> creepy touch for us here. Oh, but that's typical. Well, we have a commercial, and our guest is coming up right after this.